Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another episode of Testing in Nutshell. This is Nish Kumar Singh and we are talking about Lodana tutorials. As a part of today's tutorial, we are getting into another important aspect of Lodana called as rendezvous point. Now rendezvous is basically a French word which is pronounced as rendezvous but written as rendezvous. Now rendezvous can be even you know used as one of the pronunciation which most of the people make use of or some of the people call it as rendezvous and some of the people also pronounce it as rendezvous. Now this is basically a French word which basically stands for that when you commit at a particular point to meet together is what you call it as rendezvous. In fact, you may find a lot of restaurants and a lot of hotels being named as rendezvous because it's a meeting place and you can definitely put all of your friends together and catch up for a good dinner or maybe for some good time. Now that's what the rendezvous basically stands for here also in the load runner. In load runner, a rendezvous point is basically used to make certain activity possible for all the users simultaneously. Now we do understand from the controller that the controller allows you to determine the conditions, how to initialize the user, how to start a user, and how to stop a user. But what happened during the span of the action where there are different pages, different activities which are being performed as a part of different actions throughout the entire execution. Now what if during that entire span I want to do something in between by all the users simultaneously? And that's where the rendezvous point will be made use of. Now let's understand this more practically and understand better than what exactly a rendezvous point is and how we can apply that in our scripts and make them use as a part of our controller scenario. So let's get started and understand the same. As a part of this tutorial, we will be understanding what is rendezvous and how to work with rendezvous when using that as a part of load runner. We just understood about the rendezvous point and what exactly rendezvous stands for and here we will be making use of it practically to understand quickly that what exactly a rendezvous point is and how you can introduce that as a part of VueGen and make use of it during the execution of the performance test and see desirable outcomes of the performance scenario. The number one thing is of course to pick up a test which you want to run in the controller and design the scenario. Now click on fly which is my test which I'm using here and click on add on and press ok which opens the entire scenario of the controller to design it and then run it. The number one thing is of course to set up the execution process which is to add the load generator and we have the local host as our load generator here and uh, then comes the other settings. Now, what exactly a rendezvous plays a vital role about in a execution of performance testing? Now, if you see, we have got settings for three different options. Number one is initialize, which is basically how to start vUsers from a rest position. Start vUser is from the point of action, running the main action of your vUgen script, and stop vUser is about vUser end, that is logout from the application. So now you see that there are three major actions in your vUgen script. Number one is vUser init, action, and vUser end. But what if my action is quite lengthy and have different transactions further distributed among the script? Now, if at pretty particular point of time, I want to make sure that what if all the 100 users click on the continue button of the payment page at the same time. Now, I don't have a condition right now here to do that job. I can either do it during the launch and login, or I can do it at the start of the action, or I can do it at the user end, that is logging out together. But what if during the span of the transaction, for example, selecting a flight and clicking on the continue button, because all different users run at a different pace. So if I want to perform a particular activity at exactly the same time with all the users simultaneously doing that, I make use of rendezvous point. Now that's what we will be making use of. So right now we don't have to do anything here. We just have to go back to the script which we used and introduce the rendezvous point there. So click on this button here which basically says view script which you have imported for the performance scenario. So click on this and this will take you back to directly view gen and open the script for you. All you need to do is 
make necessary changes, save the script and the changes will take effect. So you don't really have to swap back to Vuegen, make the changes and re-import it. You just have to do it directly here. Now imagine, you know, this is the action part and I want to perform something here or maybe something here. So at any particular point you want to perform this, you just need to decide that where you want this activity to perform together. And you will see it for yourself that not all the users run with the same pace or same speed that a renderable point is not required. When you start a running race like a sprint, no matter all the racers start together, but not everyone wins the race, right? They have their independent speed. The same way here, but what if you want them to do something middle of the track together, then I need to add a roadblock. And once everyone comes there, I remove the block and they hit the next button together. So let me opt here that I'm doing a rendezvous at this particular point where I select the flight to uh, the departure city and the arrival city and the continue button should be clicked together. So how to insert a rendezvous point here is click on design, insert in script and you have a rendezvous point here. So click on this and name it. For example, I just named it as flight oops okay so that's the flight and this is only this is the syntax that is lr underscore rendezvous followed by the name of the point that is rendezvous point now lr stands for load runner of course and uh, this syntax is just the codes for the name and the semicolon there's no naming convention standard for the name of the rendezvous point you can always have anything of your choice and user defined now that's it just click on the save and uh, close the view gen and that directly takes impact in the script which you have already imported because you launched views gen from controller not outside so please make sure that if you're launching it from outside then re-import it but if you're launching it using this button here then you don't have to uh, re-import it so let's quickly have a look on the scenario which we have uh, we are going with initialize just uh, the user just before it runs click on next I want to go with uh, independent users every 10 seconds okay and uh, number of users will be 10 and uh, I'll be making use of uh, the next thing is to run for three minutes and uh, sorry that was supposed to be three minutes so that we just save our time and click on next and uh, stop at least five users every 30 seconds and apply and press OK. So this is our expected timeline and the graph that we are putting in two users every interval here. Then they run together for three minutes and they log out in five. Now this is the span which is at this point to this point in which we will be having multiple random points. So you need a very keen observation because I cannot pause the execution to show you the random point. This is the column where you will see the people will be waiting for the other users to come and join. The moment the last person joins they will hit that button together and then they will continue again to run state. So let's get started and please be more observant at this point of time. All right, so we see there's a behavior going on that, okay, uh, two users are being started in the beginning. And also you can observe here, so I put the table right here, plus the column of the rendezvous point. And uh, you must see uh, the rendezvous point behavior that how exactly the other users reaches early to that point and uh, the other users are being joined. And then once the last person joins in, then automatically they hit the button together and they continue. Now, I'm not sure if you are able to see a blink here some points because not all the people are a part of the running state. So you cannot see there's there's a blink. That's actually the renderable point which is happening. And uh, I'm not sure you need to have a properly really damn system to see that renderable point happening. But uh, you can definitely observe that there is some blinks happening right now. And this is not my graphics issue or system issues. This is exactly uh, the renderable point which is happening and that's so quick that you can't even observe it. It's just happening in the fraction of seconds when they wait for the rendezvous and everyone is actually running with quite close to each other and that's the reason it's uh, quite difficult to see. But generally when your uh, system is heavily loaded, you would see that you know one person reached, second person reached, third person reached and uh, you know you see the last person coming in then all together they press the button 
You would also see a blink happening on the render book column because uh, this is like the render book point is taking place. But uh, yeah, could you see that one? If you could just quickly go back to a few seconds back and pause it, you would see one user was there. And actually, all nine came together and they clicked together. So it's just happening very quick before the system can actually showcase to you. So, you know, there are a lot of random points uh, being executed. So the main intention here is to explain you the logic and the practical usage of random point and uh, making use of it. So during the action, if you want to make all the users do something together, then you don't have a condition defined as a part of design because you have conditions only for starting a V user, running a V user, and stopping a V user. But you don't have anything to decide when during an action, like you know, when an action is being executed. And in between that, at certain point of time, if I want everyone to do something together, that I cannot define. That's where the renderable point was created for. So renderable point will be very helpful to see during the runtime that if they perform something together. And these, these just cannot be applied or be visualized as a part of the analysis. So you don't have anything to analyze in the uh, analysis reports and graphs. It's just a visualization that at any end of a point, if there was an issue, then of course you will see the changes in the throughput. You will see the changes in the response time and of course different graphs, but not exactly like okay this was the outcome of the end of a point it's just a point and uh, it just shows us the diversion or the outcomes of that in different other graphs which you commonly find in the analysis so as it's going pretty good I can see that this is very fast and uh, uh, it's happening in fractions of seconds so that's not any anything of our concern right now So I think our scenario is coming to an end and uh, we will be uh, looking forward to gradually exiting from the script execution and uh, once it is done, I think we'll be done. So this is what we just wanted to cover as a part of this tutorial and I wanted to explain to you about the usage of the renderable point. So yes team, that was really great sharing the information about but, renderable point with all of you. So that's all from this particular tutorial. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.